at depths beyond 1500 meters, where sunlight never reaches, life begins to twist into strange, otherworldly forms. Crushing pressure destroys all but the strongest metals, yet somehow life endures. The first creatures appear, enormous eyes, transparent bodies, like ghosts drifting through the deep. In the shallows, coral reef squid shimmer with color and intelligence. But as light fades, a new world unfolds, mysterious, mesmerizing, and perilous. The firefly squid, a dancer of light, glows brilliantly in the freezing dark. An invisible creature emerges, the glass squid, clear as crystal. Deeper still lurks the red humbled squid, the ocean's bloodthirsty predator. The last trace of sunlight disappears. From here downward, only absolute darkness. Mr. I.F. adjusts his instruments, ready to descend where no one has ever gone. We've entered the midnight zone, where life carries the magic of darkness itself. A bizarre squid, with a mouth that looks eerily human. In truth, just lips folded around a beak. The giant squid, the largest eyes on earth, seen through eternal night. A sperm whale and a giant squid, two titans locked in combat beneath the waves. From such encounters, humankind forged the legend of the Kraken. No one knows where giant squids live, how they breed, or why they grow so immense. Some scientists believe they possess an ancient, primal intelligence. In this endless night, only faint glimmers remain, the final breath of life. The radar catches something massive, larger than anything ever recorded. Beneath us lies the abyss, where the greatest mysteries await. We're falling slowly into a place deeper than human fear itself. Here, the temperature nears freezing, darkness reigns supreme. A long ghostly squid drifts by, Asperothus acanthoderma, body soft and gelatinous. At this depth, the true giant appears, the colossal squid. Thick flesh, rotating hooks, half a ton in weight, the most powerful of all squids. If there is a place where darkness doesn't just hide life, but devours imagination, it is the abyss. At 5,000 meters deep, time seems to stop. Even sound is crushed into silence. Creatures here need no sunlight. They craft their own haunting beauty through bioluminescence. In total darkness, light comes only from life itself. Every pulse of light is a signal, the secret language of the deep. Another figure appears, the long-finned Bathythutis abyssicola, gliding slowly like in a dream. Sometimes Mr. I.F. wonders, could there be something as intelligent as us living its entire life in this darkness? He watches silently, taking notes, surrounded by a world where sound itself disappears. Beneath the mud, strange trails appear marks of some colossal creature unknown to science. Is it another giant squid, or something entirely new from the deep? Under crushing pressure, only the strongest survive. Mr. I.F. turns on the light. It reveals a massive shadow moving in the distance. A single tentacle stretches out, larger than his entire vessel moving with eerie intent. Impossible, Mr. I.F. whispers, voice trembling in the ocean's silence. Suddenly, the sonar flickers. Something is moving right below. 
A violent swirl of sediment, the ship's lights are swallowed whole. Mr. I.F. hits the emergency lights. Red glows over his face, reflected in his round glasses. When the lights return, the creature is gone. Only spiral marks remain in the mud. He writes in his log, First evidence of an unidentified organism. Possible mutated giant squid. Pressure rises, temperature drops, instruments begin to malfunction. Warning lights flash, but Mr. I.F. stays calm, eyes fixed in the dark beyond. He feels no fear, only curiosity, because to him, fear is the doorway to knowledge. Suddenly, a glint appears, not biological, but metallic. A shipwreck, half buried in silt, hidden for centuries. Across its hull, enormous claw marks gouged into steel. Proof of an ancient battle between man and sea monster. Mr. I.F. approaches slowly. Amber light glows against rusted metal, where history and mystery meet. On the hull, strange symbols, carved in a language not of humankind. Could this be evidence of a civilization that once knew the abyss? Then, the sensors detect movement, not of water, but of a living being. Something vast begins to move below, powerful, deliberate. Every light flickers, as though the ship's energy is being drained. Two enormous eyes appear in the dark, glowing like twin red moons. Mr. I.F. stands frozen, facing an ancient gaze that pierces through time itself. The creature is larger than any squid ever known. It moves closer, each motion shaking the ocean like a living earthquake. And then, it vanishes, dissolving into the darkness without a trace. The sonar falls silent. Mr. I.F. leans back, breathing slowly, realizing he has reached the edge of human understanding. He writes one final line, We are not alone in the abyss. Silence. Only the dim golden light inside the cabin remains. Outside, tiny glowing creatures surround the vessel, like stars saying farewell. The pressure eases, the ship begins to rise, the journey home begins. Through the window, Mr. I.F. watches, his eyes filled with both fear and awe. Far below, a dark shadow still waits for the next encounter. Sunlight pierces the surface, glinting off the hull, reflecting in his glasses. He smiles, the faint smile of one who has witnessed the unimaginable. His final words echo in the log. The ocean is not just where life began, it is the memory of the universe. The camera pulls away, the small vessel fading into the vast blue. Text appears, we've explored only 5% of the ocean. And in the other 95%, something may be watching us back.